A big pain point no one seems to be talking about today is writing GitHub commit messages. In fact, we should be using AI to generate these messages instead of writing them ourselves. And we're gonna do that today. We're gonna use Google's Gemini model to build a Python script that'll automate our git commit messages for staged changes. So hello world, I'm Blondie Bites, and I make videos on my channel about Java, Python, and other software development topics. Big shout out to Google for sponsoring this video. We're gonna see the real capabilities of Gemini AI and how to use it in Python. With that out of the way, let's build this app. The first step is to get our authentication credentials from Google's AI Studio. We'll be authenticating with an API key. We already have a Google Cloud Platform project set up, so we'll create the API key in that project. Here it is. Be sure to save this somewhere safe as we'll use it later on in our application. Let's set up our development environment. We'll need to download a dependency to use Gemini AI, so let's install that. We'll use pip3 install Google Generative AI. We'll also set up our API key as an environment variable. We'll use this in our script later. Now for our Python script. We'll save this in our desktop as app.py. Here's some starter code. We start off with our imports. So we have the OS module for retrieving our API key from the environment. Then we have our subprocess module that'll help us run a git diff and see what changes are staged. The last import is for Gen AI, and that's for connecting to Google's Gemini AI. All right, let's write some code. First, we'll configure the Gen AI model to use our API key. This will authenticate all of our requests. Then we'll retrieve the model we want to generate content from. We'll be using Gemini Pro. Now for the core part of our program, generating the commit message. Let's have a function for this. First, we'll retrieve the staged commits. We'll use the subprocess module to run a git diff cached command. So we'll run git diff and then cached. This gets us all the staged changes and we'll capture the output into our variable git changes. The output should be in the form of text and not bytes, which is why we have text set to true. Now let's create our prompt. We'll prompt the model to generate a commit message for our stage changes, passing in those dynamic changes into the prompt. With that implemented, we can call the function in our main method. We'll say your commit message is and then call the function. The generate commit message function will return a response with text. So we'll need to access the text that's returned. I only know this because of the documentation. Google actually has some pretty robust documentation for all of this, including some sample curl commands. Here we can see a text JSON is returned from the response. Google also has examples of how to incorporate Gemini AI into many different languages. So if Python's not your favorite, you could try building this in one of these other languages. So this is our Python script. Let's run this in one of our other GitHub repos. This is the GitHub repo we'll be using. It contains a science calculator. The calculator has functions for sine and cosine, but we wanna add a function for tan. I have this GitHub repo downloaded locally, and with my local version, I've added tan as a function. In fact, this change is staged in the GitHub repo. Now, how do we automate this commit message? What we're gonna do is move our app.py, or this is our script that generates the commit message, into advanced calculator, and we'll move this in here temporarily. We could also rename the file so it's more obvious the task it completes. In fact, if we look at the gitignore, 
we ignore this commit message util.py. So let's rename our app.py to that. So that then if I run git status, it doesn't show up in those changes. Even though running ls, that file is in that same repo. So let's create the commit message. We'll run python3 commit message util.py. It looks like we may have forgotten to convert some type before we printed it. And so this error happens when we generate the content for the model and we'll want to actually convert our git changes into a string. So we have that and let's run it again. Here's our commit message. In our commit, we added the tan function to our science calculator. And so this introduced a new public method. We updated the list of supported operators in the calculator to include tan. And in our test plan, we would verify that the tan function works as expected. Now, what makes this a good commit message? Well, it's specific. It tells us exactly what the code changes actually do for the application's functionality. It also gives us a one-liner summary to start, and then the body of the commit message tells the story of why and how, as well as how to test it. Could it be better? Sure. We could prompt Gemini to use the present tense or make it slightly shorter. We could also have our commit message only include this first line summary, and the rest of this we could put in the PR or the pull request that we'd submit when we're ready to integrate these changes into the main code base or the main branch. Now, just to double check this, let's run git diff dash dash staged, and this will tell us exactly the lines of code that are staged for commit. And so this is what we passed to Gemini. Now, if you wanted to improve this application, you could actually make it commit the change and automate the commit process. This could be a little too much automation, but you could also add a warning and force the user to confirm before actually making the commit. Another option is to give the model more context on what your overall application does so it can better generate that commit message. To go even further, you could build something that automates your pull request description upon PR creation. All right, that's it for this video. With 18 lines of code, we were able to create a git commit message generator that can come up with a summary for any commit. Thank you for watching and thank you Google for sponsoring. I hope you enjoyed using Google's new Gemini model with me and I'll see you next time. Happy coding. And if you want to build with Gemini, you can go to AI Studio and create your API key today.